Each day, thousands of surgeries are performed across the United States. It's pretty normal to get a painkiller after, uh, after you go home for your surgery and uh, during your surgery. What's not normal is to still be taking those pain medications many months after surgery. Dr. Eric Sun and his colleagues at the Stanford University School of Medicine reviewed the records of more than 641,000 patients who were not taking pain medication during the year prior to surgery. They had one of 11 common operations, including joint replacements, gallbladder removal, and C-sections during a 12-year period. We wanted to see the year out after their surgery uh, where they had increased risk of using opioids chronically compared to patients who didn't get surgery. Some opioid use is to be expected shortly after surgery, so we did exclude the first 90 days following their surgery. Chronic use was defined as filling at least 10 prescriptions or more than 120 days worth of opioids during the first year after surgery. The study appears in JAMA Internal Medicine. Patients who didn't use opioid prior to surgery were at an increased risk for chronic opioid use following their surgery. The risk ranged from about one and a half to five times, depending uh, on the surgery. Overall, the risk is pretty low. It's, it was about less than 1% for most of the surgeries we looked at. Men and older patients were at an increased risk of chronic opioid use, along with patients with a history of certain medical conditions. Patients who use benzodiazepines, that's a fairly common drug people use for anxieties. And also patients with a history of drug abuse and alcohol abuse are at high risk for chronic opioid use following their surgery. Dr. Sun says physicians should be aware of this risk, even though the overall risk is small. Physicians should closely monitor their surgical patient to see how much opioid they are or aren't taking and just be aware that they may be at high risk for uh, using opioids chronically. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.